What if you could populate a scene with just a couple clicks? Well, that's exactly what D5's custom path tool will do. It lets you select any type of asset, whether it's imported or directly in D5, and put it on a path. It's no longer limited to just vegetation, paths, or people. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to access this tool, how to make your own custom assets, and I'll throw in a couple tips and tricks for you. So let's get right into it. First thing you wanna do is go over to path tool here. So what you'll see right down here is custom paths, okay? Before we had path for nature, character, vehicle, and so on. This would basically block you out from selecting anything else. So this opens it up for you to use any type of asset, which is really nice. So I'm gonna click this, and let's say I wanna create a nice little eating area here. I basically wanna line up this whole pier with tables and chairs. Well, this is kind of the issue that people have right now, is if I wanted to add you know, tables and chairs here. I'm gonna go over to content and add in these tables and chairs. The problem is, the problem is they're not together. So this doesn't look like a dining table with a chair, right? It basically looks like an array of a table and a chair. So that's not great. What we can do is actually make a custom asset here with the tables and the chairs. So check this out. If I just hit escape and then I grab a chair and I plop it right here. Right now, these are two different assets. But if I group them, so I'm gonna hold down control and then right click the two and hit group. Now watch this, I can call this table chair. And now it's not gonna be able to come into the path unless I do this one thing. All I have to do is right click and hit add to local. Now check this out. If I go over to my local library over here, I'm gonna see under here a model called table chair. So now I can click my path over here, delete these guys out here, cause I don't need them anymore and now select that same asset, go back to local, table chair, and look at that. They are now grouped. So it's this asset, but it's there. So now you might be wondering, well, what if I uh, make any edits to this? Can I still update that? Yeah, absolutely. So check this out. If I double click to get into the group, if I move the chair around, it's not gonna update, okay? It's not like that. So let me just add a chair over here. Let me rotate this around. And this is what you can do, move this in. I'm going to grab this again, and I'm gonna call this double chair. I'm gonna give it another name, and now I'm gonna right click, hit add to local, and we'll see it pop up over here, perfect. Now I go back to path, and now I can replace this by clicking this button right here. And now it'll let me choose a different asset, and it'll replace it in place. So now that I have this as a custom asset, I can just move this around, and I get the functionality of anything in custom path. So now I can rotate this, so let's say, 90 degrees. I've filled this whole area out in just a couple seconds. If I were to do this manually, it would take me a lot longer. So this is a really, really easy way to do this because I can keep adding chairs. I can even add place settings, you name it. So this works for D5 assets, but it also works for imported assets. So check this out. Let's say I want to add some more boats out here. So I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna to go to custom path and I'm just gonna draw this crazy path here. And now I'm gonna hit content. And what I did, before is I imported a yacht from SketchUp. You can see, yacht.skp. So I just grabbed a SketchUp model, I imported it, and then I added it to local, and now look at that, it's being picked up. If I increase the density, look at that. I can change the scaling, and I can even animate it. So look at that. So they're going pretty fast. But you could see that this is extremely powerful because now we're talking about taking D5 assets as well as custom assets, and it all using the nice functionality of the path because you're getting the ability to animate, randomize everything, randomize the rotation. You know, now it looks like they're drifting, but you get my point. It's not just like a simple placement tool. It's using the intelligence of a path tool. So really handy for these types of situations. So I'll give you one more use case. So let's say you're working on a project and you wanna place a bunch of parallax interiors. Well, this is the same exact scenario. So I can go custom path, and now I can just drag this guy out and go over to content, search for my interior parallax, grab, let's say residential, grab a couple of these, and now I'm gonna hit done and boost the density and change the rotation. And look at that, I'll pull this out. But I've basically fledged out a whole floor plate in a couple seconds. And the best part of this is I can easily control the density, right? And I could just swap out the maps as needed. So if I don't want this interior and I want another one, I could just click this, find what I want, click this, and it'll swap that out, okay? Don't forget that you can either subtract or swap out. You don't need to like 
redo anything. And these paths are all editable. Again, it's the path functionality. So you can go in here and move the control points. See that? I'm moving that around. It's snapping to the ground. I can add more. I can make them you know, curvy. I can smooth them out. I've got a couple options here. If you've never played with the curve function, it's pretty sweet. It rounds out the transition between the nodes. So you see how this is kind of like bending instead of a harsh 90 degree angle. So that's what that is. I'm gonna hit done. And now if I add more density, you'll see exactly what that's doing. It's a pretty sweet hack for interiors. You can also use it for mixing in rocks and vegetation and all that. You could do that with Path for Nature, but if you do custom path, you can always mix in other things. So if I were to just grab all of this, I can now add in the same exact group people. So let me grab, grab this waiter dude, then nature like a shrub. We'll grab something like this and I can grab some rocks and we'll add something like this. So my point here is now we're mixing all these different categories and it doesn't even matter. So I'm going to hit done and now I'm going to increase the density and look at that. So you get pretty, pretty creative here. I do hope at some point the path tool just gets updated to support all this in one and you don't need to get locked into each, but I do understand, you know, vehicles have different settings than like people and so on. So I understand the limitations there, but it would be nice instead of you having to know that, hey, custom is probably the best way forward. So again, remember, when it comes to the path tool, you can, you can include any type of assets, whether it's D5, imported you can change the density so how many there are you can rotate them you can randomize them add some offset which is really nice to add some realism randomize the spacing between the objects and randomize the scaling obviously it doesn't work for humans but it's good for vegetation right and you can animate of course if we go back to our, our drifting boats example so if this video is useful for you if you have any questions about this workflow drop a comment i'll get back to you and if you made it this far please consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video See you in the next one.